Hello, it's Peter Wright and Kathleen Bove with another weekly wrap-up of the Yacking Show. And this is for the week ending 9th of February 2024. The year is galloping by. Do you know there's only 340 days till next Christmas? Oh, Actually, Peter. 339, 341 because it's a leap year. I thought that was quite a frightening fact. And for once, when we're doing this in winter, we have sunshine in Ontario, Canada. So we are very grateful for that. Anyway, hi, Kathleen. How are you doing today? <laughs> hi, Peter. I'm doing great. Thanks. <laughs> good, good. So have you got a feline fact for our audience? I surely do. I surely do. Feline facts. <laughs> F.D.C. Willard is the pen name of Chester. American physicist and mathematician J., uh, Jack Hetherington's pet cat. Hetherington listed his furry friend as a co-author on several of his psychic, on his physics, psychic, listen to me, physics papers from 1975 to 1980. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I wonder if the cat gets his royal cheese plate in treats. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you'd love that. <laughs> yeah. So let's get on to what happened on the Acne Show this week. <clears throat> Excuse me. On Tuesday, <clears throat> we had an episode with our guest, Kate Hollihan from the United Kingdom. And Kate is a trichologist and a hair expert. Mm -hmm. Kate spoke about um, baldness. And hair care and how you can have healthy hair throughout your life. She gave some quite interesting um, reports on what they are doing, what the experts are doing to restore uh, bald or to restore hair when people go bald, mainly men. And I asked the question, she was talking about hair transplants and they are transplanting hair follicles from men's beards or chest hairs into their head. And I said, well, in my case, my beard would be, is white. What would happen? Would I end up with white patches on the top of my head? And she said, well, you know, sometimes no. It, it, the follicle might remember where it came from, but quite often it, it rediscovers where it's been planted and adopts that color. Yeah. So that, I found that interesting. Yeah. The yeah. body is just a miracle, isn't it? Quite amazing. Eh? Yeah. yeah. So, so she was published on Tuesday. So uh, hop onto the video or the audio channel uh, if you want to find out more about hair care. And then on Thursday, we published or we released the first episodes of our Success Secret series. They were reserved for premium members, and we've now opened this up for all members. Success Secrets is an interview, is snippets of interviews with 20 guests where we ask one question. In your experience, uh, what is there a habit or a mindset or characteristic, a single one, that differentiates successful people in all fields of life, not just business, from those that remain average? And it's very interesting, the answers that these guests come up with. So the whole video is made up of 20 of those little snips of of our guests answering those questions. I think you'll find it quite entertaining. Mm -hmm. And there will be more episodes down the track as we release more from our premium series. Right. And then, of course, we have this video, which uh, was recorded as our weekly wrap-up. That's probably it from me. But before Kathleen starts on her Health things, a quick one that I saw, which will interest many people who are concerned about chemicals, pollution, and toxicity, is Bayer, the makers of Roundup. Well, once they bought out Monsanto, who make Roundup, have just lost another case in Philadelphia, where a jury has awarded a huge sum of money, 2.25 billion, to someone. The jury and the judges obviously believe that Roundup was the cause of this person's problems. Whether it was or not, for me to say, but um, the odds are stacking up against Bayer and Roundup. So, interesting developments ahead. That was it for me. Mm -hmm. What do you th What do you think about that, Kathleen? Well, my goodness, yeah. There's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Roundup. Okay, let's let's move on to another little tidbit. You know, I was reading an article this week, Peter, about nose picking. Nose picking. <clears throat> there's a connection between nose picking and Alzheimer's. And they're saying that people who pick their nose, the pathogens that are on your fingers and the bacteria go up into your nose in your nasal passages and eventually find their way to the brain. And they are saying that that could attribute, like that could lead to, or be a cause of uh, an onset of Alzheimer's. If you can believe that. Wow. Wow. Know, Wow. Yeah, that is, but it, it makes sense because yeah, um, sure. I remember many years ago, I, talking many, many years ago, 30, 45 years ago, my 
ex-brother-in-law um, had a bad sinus infection and he kept blowing his nose and he got encephalitis. And the doctors, I remember the doctors telling him, you've got to be careful. If you blow your nose with too much pressure, you can force those bugs with a bad sinus infection right up towards your brain. And they figured that he got encephalitis from his sinus infection from excessive nose blowing of his nose. Yeah. And he was treated, though. Yeah, he was treated, but he was really sick for quite a while. For Terrible sure. headaches. And and encephalitis would... for those that's an inflammation of the brain. Of the lining of the brain. The it doesn't go brain. into yeah. yeah of the oh, I can't God. remember what it's called, cerebellum or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he was off work for about six weeks. It was a really serious illness. Yeah. Oh. Uh, so be careful. Don't pick your nose and don't blow it too hard. I know another another recommendation recommendation I've read is never blow both nostrils at the same time. Always block one and blow the other one. Whether that's fact or fiction, I don't know, but I've read that several times. The reading reasoning behind that? So you don't build up too much pressure on oh. both sides of your sinuses. Oh, I don't know. See, okay, okay, that makes sense. Anyway, oh. that's uh, yeah, it's a little bit of a gory subject for our health first health tip of the day. So. <laughs> Sorry, but no, I couldn't resist I, talking about it because it was just. Uh, something it's that important. Was yeah. Oh, well, wow. um, for those of you who who've listened to some of our uh, wrap up videos, we've always talked about uh, the importance of good fit. Uh, fit kidney filtration and uh, lymphatic drainage. And I was reading an article about the renal lymphatic connection. And um, so it, it says here, and this makes perfect sense that, that when the kidneys lose their ability to fill or fill, filter cellular waste or acids out of the body, they back up just like a sewage system would. Um, and that can cause a lot of imbalances someplace else in your body, really. So it's it's systemic. Um, it says maintaining proper kidney function supports not only the health of the urinary system, but the health of the systems that depend on the filtration to clear the body of acid buildup. So once again, you know, your kidneys are so vitally important to your overall health. And they talk about the third kidney and the third kidney is, um, it says it is believed that when the kidneys are overtaxed, sweat can serve to reduce pressure within the system and take some of the load off the kidneys. So there's a mm -hmm. connection made amongst many traditional healers that the skin is an eliminate, el eliminatory uh, pathway. Um, so I wonder if that has anything to do with a lot of skin conditions that we see that could be well perhaps do. linked to uh, kidney function. Mm -hmm. maybe mm -hmm. a compromised kidney function that somebody may not be aware of. And then of course, there's the kidney adrenal connection. So the, the adrenal glands are those little glands that sit on top of each kidney. And they say here that the kidney adrenal connection involves the production and release of aldosterone from the adrenal glands, which acts on the kidneys to regulate electrolyte and fluid balance. And of course, this connection is essential for maintaining uh, proper blood pressure and electrolyte levels in the body. So once again, I wonder if I wonder if people with high blood pressure have a kidney filtration issue. Mm -hmm. I wonder. Yes. Quite possibly. Quite possibly. Mm -hmm. mm, interesting. Mm -hmm. So that one about the skin is interesting because mm -hmm. we know that certain dogs have the ability and can be trained to detect cancers, right? Yes. Our dogs we know have this most incredible sense of smell. So I wonder if they pick up something from the patient's skin that alerts them to the indication of cancer. Or possibly their breath, I wonder. You know, could be. Yeah. 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 But you never know, huh? Yeah, wow. Yeah. That is interesting. Yeah. So that was um you found that in a newsletter from Dr. Morse, I do believe. I did. Yes, from the so, from Dr. Morse's website, actually, Dr. Robert. So Morse's. we so there will be a link to Dr. Morse's website in the show notes and uh, in our newsletter this week. And then, of course, now you've been talking about kidney health, you better talk about which product of Dr. Morse's can help with kidney problems. Well, I would urge anybody to visit his website because he actually has specific kidney tinctures. Um, you start with a a milder dosage, and then you kind of work up based on the protocol that he uh, 
his clinic would recommend for you. And of course, along with the kidney, there's always one for the lymphatic system as well. Mm -hmm. Currently, I'm doing that. I'm I have uh, one for the kidneys and one for the for the adrenal support as well as lymphatic drainage right now that I'm doing personally. Yeah. And then you also drink the kidney tea, don't you? I do. In fact, that's what I have right here in my glass. There you go. My Special cup. kidney. Mm -hmm. So you can find all of those on Dr. Morse's website. And just a, a side note, um, we're talking about lymphatic drainage. We had another guest who, who we interviewed this week. He'll be coming up uh, in March. And um, he's a fitness guy and a chiropractor. And he was also talking about the importance of lymph, the lymph system and lymph drainage. And we're hearing this more and more from the experts we're talking to mm -hmm. and the people we're following that it's an under-recognized system in the body, the lymph drainage system. Mm -hmm. uh, so we will be bringing more guests on to talk about that in the future. Well, that's it yes. from us. Uh, Kathleen, have you got your little bit to finish off with? Yes. Well, if anyone is interested in being a guest on our show, we invite you to visit us at theyackingshow.com. All you need to do is click on the contacts tab where you will find a short application form. And until next time, take care, everyone. Oh, sorry. Go sorry. I've got, I, I forgot something really important. My brain is scattered and I haven't <laughs> been picking, haven't been picking my nose too much either. So just to tell our audience, that, sorry about that. Tell our audience that um, we have changed our, system of organizing our videos a little bit we, we had started a separate channel on both youtube and podbean for the harmony but because we're now concentrating almost exclusively on health and wellness and wholeness we've decided to bring all that back into the main yakking show channel so the website will still have them differentiated but we now only have one youtube channel the yakking show one podbean channel the yakking show uh one rumble channel one Bitshoot channel and one channel on all the other social media. So it's all back under one roof. Right. That's and I think what that's I was going to say. Simpler. Yeah. Keeps it simple. Yep. There we are. Okay. Goodbye, everybody. Bye bye, everyone. <laughs>